Hey guys, welcome back to Growing Good in the Dirt. I'm Clemente and today I want to show you our beautiful backyard garden avocado tree. It's a lamb highs avocado multi-grafted with queen avocado, ettinger, and surprise. Um, it's one of my favorite varieties mixed between B's and A type avocados. Um, today in particular we're going to talk about our leaf tips dying off. As you can see on this tree, you will not find one leaf tip burned off. Uh, unlike most of the avocado trees out there that you see, uh, all the leaves are all burnt off. What do I mean? Basically, you get a leaf that's uh, you know nice and green and healthy, and then all of a sudden the tips all turn this color, right? They grow up and die off. Um, all in all, it's not the end of the world. Uh, the tree will still work and still uh, provide fruit, all that good stuff. However, uh, if you could take care of the tree in a better way to avoid that, give it a much better looking tree and a healthier tree, a heavier production, um, better fruit, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is um, bring you in closer, take a look at this tree, and then I'm going to show you the secrets on how to avoid the leaf tips. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's talk about how we get the leaf tip uh, burn on your avocado trees. Uh, it could be a lot of different reasons. Uh, some of the most important ones are going to be too hot, too cold, too much water, not enough water, and salt deposits in your soil. Uh, when it's too hot, too cold, some things to um, manage are in the winter, you could cover the tree with a um, you know, a frost blanket. Obviously, obviously you can't cover a 40-foot tree, but uh, when they're small and young is when they really need it. You cover them in the winter. In the summertime, you put a shade cloth over them. That's why I have uh, umbrellas next to most of my avocado trees, so I can create a little shade barrier for them. And um, too much water, not enough water, that's very easy to control. Just the water by hand instead of on an automatic timer. And know exactly how much you're giving them. Um, depending on the season, depending on how big the tree is, depending on the type of mulch, if it's in a raised bed or if it's uh, directly in the dirt, waters might vary. You can manage that. Uh, I like to water by hand, so I know exactly three times a week, twice a week, I give them exactly this much water. Now, one of the most important factors here, uh, and the purpose of this video, is to uh, let you guys know on what you can definitely do to uh, avoid those ugly tree leaf tips being burnt, dying off, ugly. Simply eliminating all your water deposits, all your hard water, your chemicals, your salts in the water. When you use uh, city water, there's a lot of chemicals in there. Um, you know, hard water. So what I do is I use a simple carbon filter uh, watering hose. Touch the garden hose, water your trees. This eliminates 20 30 percent of all of those hard deposits. What happens with those salts? Uh, you know, water spots when you wash your car, you get that little white, bubbly, crusty drop that dries up. Well, that's a salt deposit. Those salt deposits, as they appear on your car, they also appear on the trees, on the roots, in the soil. When the roots are filled with that stuff, the tree, the roots cannot absorb and intake all the nutrients, the water that the tree needs to live and thrive. So a simple $10 to $15 watering hose uh, filter will make your trees look beautiful. Let's bring you in closer so you can take a look at this tree and how well it's doing. All right, here we go, guys. As you can see, this tree is beautiful it's a, a lamb haas avocado tree you will not find one leaf that's burnt on this tree um i started using the uh water filtration system on my hose about uh, seven months ago eight months ago and before this tree 90 percent of it all the leaves were all rotted out and in, in the sense of you would get the the leaf tip that was all burnt out. Eventually that leaf tip 